we'll pick a spot for the corner of the room. It's like big doing a big 30 degree X here really. And that's the corner of the room. And my 15 degrees there then. Fifteen degrees down there, and fifteen degree angle here. So I'll just draw the front view there first, which is going to be sixty wide, sixty high. semicircle there in the center but I also want to measure uh, where it is 20 as well so there's my front view I should have recorded this for time There's the front view, the side view, just flip the set squares around, pick a spot up here, 15 degrees going down the ways, 15 degrees going in the ways, it's because it's important, has to be, that this is a 90 degree angle here, so we're saying it's going to be 90 high. Twenty wide, and again the center is going to be up sixty <coughs> and up twenty and down twenty for the dotted lines. So there's the bottom of the hole. Here's the top of the hole going through it and there's the height of the centre. So you're ready to start projecting based on that. So always find the footprint on the ground. There is the footprint on the ground. Here's my heights. And the height of the center here is the top of the straight line is up 60. <coughs> so I probably should have put on that line there as well that the uh, top of The center is also the end of the straight lines coming up there. So I'll just heavy that in. Straight, straight, straight. Okay, so they're all the easy bits done. And I'm also going to bring down the center of the circle. Okay, now the smart thing to do here is I'm going to mark the left and the right of the hole going through that. And I'll show you why in a second. Because there's the left, there's the right hand side of the hole going through it. And I'm going to use those points now because straight above the left <coughs> is this point and straight <coughs> above the right is that point 
and straight above the center is that so that's three points on the outside curve there and they're easy to find now because it's straight above the left straight above the center straight above the right and once I bring them down there's the one straight above the left straight above the center straight above the right so I could now go ahead and draw the front curve here based on that and again then uh, an easy way of doing the back there is just measure the thickness of the whole piece so and I, I can use any lines going through this to mark points so I'll have more points on the back. So here's my curve for the back. Heavy in the straight line here. Kind of heavy in the ground. Also going to heavy in just where the walls meet here. So I have everything done now except finishing off the curve. So what we're going to do to finish off the curve there now is I'm going to find um, the top and bottom of the hole. So I'll just mark T for top and B for bottom. Now they're above and below the center obviously. So once I bring down the bottom it's here top is there so I have the four key points but I need to find a few more so what I'm going to just do there is I'm gonna go like maybe I'm gonna go 15 to the left and 15 to the right and just pick uh, some more point or not pick but project up then and find out what's the height of the holes over and 15 left and right so there's the the heights above and below that point and the same thing here so it's as simple as this now that's on the center line so when i bring that down it's there on the center line and it's above and below that so the one above us don't need to project on all the lines the one above it is there the one below us is here. Oh, there. So I know I've enough for half the curve. <coughs> and the same then with the other side. It's here on the center line. So the points are above and below that. So the one below us is there. The one above it is here, and I now have enough points to draw. There's the right. Now, one last thing now, and this is just an important point. That's the thickness of the shape that we used earlier on. So, to find out there can you see the inside of the hole you need to project a few light lines here I'll just take a few light lines randomly anywhere so that's the thickness of the piece so yes I will see through it there here and ideally would have one where it disappears there and just take one more here okay so I will see that Going from there over to here. So, if I wanted to put a few colours on it, and I'm a big fan of applying colours and to get used to it, you'd be putting green on that, matching that to here. Maybe give the thickness of this red, so all that edge would be red. 
All of this edge here is red. And all of that edge there is red. So I'll just pause that there now because there's nothing to be learned from.